Looking for a free source for wood chips for your garden or your flower bed? Check out your county. They might have a recycling center where you can pick up wood chips for free. Hoppers. We decided since it was a, a great fall day to be working out in the garden, I've planted some fall seeds. We decided, you know, this is great weather to go get some more of the free wood chips that we use for our Bank to Eden Garden Method garden beds. We pick them up from a source in our county, but it ends up not being quite so cheap for us because of our choice of eating. It's great, great burger. So if you're ever in the Kaufman area, you might want to try Wings Over Kaufman. Come on in, y'all. Let's go see it. Is he still asleep? Oh, he got tired out doing all that exploring outside this morning. He said, Daddy was busy, Mama was busy, and I was busy exploring. Well, he woke up, and that's the sign of a good burger joint. She's on the face. <laughs> yeah. Is it good, Malachi? Yeah. Yummy? <laughs> Where are we about to go? We're about to go to get wood chips at the recycling place. Somebody's got his Ninja Turtle mud boots on. What you think, mister? You like the way they fit? Yeah. Cute. We're at the recycling uh, center. When road workers go and uh, cut down limbs and they shred the, the limbs or chip them, they drop them off here and they're free to anybody that lives in our county. So we're here to get some, uh, some of these wood chips to put in our garden and fill out walk spaces, but also for covering for, for our garden so that we can uh, make it easier to not have to weed. So. If you've been into the homesteading scene for any amount of time, you've probably heard about the back to in gardening method. It's where you use wood chips or other carbon-based material. It can also be leaves, um, other types of mulch, but primarily it tends to be wood chips and you layer it with organic matter like compost or fertilizer from animals, aka manure and you layer it, stratify it, kind of like lasagna gardening, but you let the wood chips break down over time and it creates a very humusy um, dirt and also a fungal dominated dirt, which is oftentimes missing from even your organic soils, um, like the ones that you buy in the store. So that's what we're doing today. We're picking up some wood chips. This is probably our, I don't know, sixth or seventh time to come and get it. It's almost free. It does take our work and effort and the gas to get over here, but still all this great abundance for nothing more than that, that's awesome. And some of this has been here for several years, so it's already decomposing. It's got the um, mold, like the decomposing mold and fungus, not fungus, yeah, uh, fungus. fungi. Um, in it so it makes it already starting to break down when we put it in. Yeah, so that the benefit of that in addition to the fact that it's already got some of those beneficial fungi is that it's not going to sequester as much carbon in the short term. It might for the first year or so as it continues to break down, but we're not taking straight wood chips most of the time and putting it in our garden. It's wood chips that have already started breaking down over the past couple years. 
um, that is one of the things that people tend to get frustrated about with starting back to Eden Garden is that um, it kind of robs the nitrogen and the nutrients from the plants that you try to plant in it for the first couple years because that carbon needs those um, those other nutrients to be able to break down. But by getting some from your local recycling center, especially if you can go at the back of the pile, and as you can see, this is a pretty massive pile, and get some that's been um, just sitting there for a couple of years, you've already started the process with being ahead of the game like for two or three years. So we're gonna get to it, start shoveling some wood chips. As you can see, Malachi's already getting into it. Are you gonna help Malachi? Yeah? You're a good helper. This shot is to show y'all the difference between fresh wood chips, aka the stuff that's at the front of the pile, to wood chips that have broken down over time. And doesn't it already look like soil? I do wish y'all could be here though, because mm, these wood chips smell so fresh and there's some evergreens in here. Mmm, smells like Christmas trees. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. Yeah, I'm gonna grab a handful of that and toss it in the bag. Not that it makes much difference, but it makes me happy. Ha ha. So let me take y'all back to the back of this pile. Had to pick up the buckets and show y'all what it looks like. Now, it could be that people have picked up um, wood chips back here since we were last here. Last time we were here, Malachi was small enough that he had to stay in the... I made that hole. Oh yeah, Justin made that hole last time. No, uh, two or three times ago. Okay. Um, so, if people haven't been digging back here, and there may have been a few, but for the most part, this has sunk down because it's broken down. It used to be as high as that. Well, maybe a tiny bit lower, maybe like this stuff here but it has just sunk down over the summer. And it's hot to do this in the summer in Texas. But right now it's the perfect weather. So we decided to whoo, take advantage. Caution if you do come, your foot can sink. Because it's breaking down, you just gotta be cautious where you walk. But awesome resource, definitely worth the effort and worth the price for good healthy veggies for our family. No one gardening method that you choose is going to be 100% perfect all of the time. But look at this. We're going to the back of the wood chip pile and look, this has basically broken down into dirt. Not just dirt, soil. Dirt, I like the phrase, dirt is dead, soil is alive. And this is alive with mycorrhizal fungi and all kinds of critters. But I will admit, one of the downsides to the back to Eden garden method is we will inevitably bring home some pill bugs. They're also called roly polies. I grew up calling them roly polies. And Plant Abundance recently posted a video about wood chip warning, you know, some of the downsides to using wood chips in your garden. Now, I agree with him in that the benefits outweigh the negatives but it is, like he said, good to know what you might be getting in yourself into so you can troubleshoot and be prepared before you really dive into this method. It's really worked for us so far, but there, there are some downsides like the roly polies and the pill bugs um, eating seeds or eating young plants or in our case, eating tomatoes when they get ripe if they're on the ground, which is why next year we're going to have to um, make sure we put them in tomato cages and probably try to snip lower branches so that um, so that it keeps the tomatoes off the ground and then the roly-polies can't get to them. But this, if you smell it, oh, such rich, earthy scent. Woo! Great stuff. All right, I better get busy before Justin feels like he's doing all the work. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, we're back home. One thing we um, were reminded of is make sure you know what time it is and what time the facility closes. We took a little bit too long at Wings Over Kaufman and by the time we got over there and started filming and um, doing the work, 
we kind of ran out of time. The guy came over and said, hey, y'all, we're about to close, wrap it up. So we got a few containers. Normally, this tarp is lining pretty much the full bed and it's full of the compost and dirt. We didn't quite get that this time, but that's okay, lesson learned. If it's not raining tomorrow morning, we'll go back out there. Um, we don't enjoy not getting a full load because that means we spent all that gas and time going over there, mostly the gas, um, and then we're gonna have to take another trip. But as long as we can get a full load tomorrow, we'll be good. Hoppers, thanks for watching the video. Push the thumbs up to like the video. Also, hit that subscribe button, also the bell, so that you can get notifications when our videos come out. Check us out on our social media pages too. We have Facebook and Pinterest, and soon we'll have Instagram. The links are below. Bye, y'all! Good job.